What's going on guys? This is Riyad here and this is a new game maker tutorial actually it's gonna be a Siri on how to make a fighting game with artificial intelligence okay so the first thing you need to do is download the resource from uh, uh, I'll, pu I'll put the link on the description okay so we're going to import the resource, the sprites and the background okay so you can find here all the character and some GUI stuff right here and we also going to import the background okay so yeah so let's start first thing you need to do is to create a controller and I think in this tutorial I will be making the character select menu so let's see create event, let's create some variables okay some variables okay so global oh global dot player equals none, no one okay global dot enemy equals no one okay so this is used to change the the player, uh, let me show you let's create obj player and obj enemy so go to your player and create event instance change global dot player true and for the enemy just do the same thing except that uh, you want enemy here okay so these two objects right here gonna change depending on what is your uh, player so here we wanna make uh, so this is the uh, battle room okay so uh, let's put the player and the enemy okay with that sprite let's create another room and character select okay make sure it's your first room and put the controller here okay so I wish that that makes sense I guess okay so let's create a button so obj um let's go selection selection box or something like that and let's give it a sprite so spr button let's go for a 64 by 64 i don't know this kind of small 96 yeah let's give it some gray color and yeah something like that and make sure that your sprite is centered okay SPR button okay so in the create event let's create some variables Creating variables. Okay, so name, just an empty string. Um, obj equals um, nothing right now. And let's see. Yes, pro SPR equals no one two. Okay, so go to your draw event. So draw self. Oh, uh, I mean draw sprite. If you're in studio, you can use draw self directly. But for now, let's go sprite index image index x and y. Okay, and also so draw the the player image. So draw sprite. 
uh, SPR 0XY and also draw the name of the player so draw set line for center well draw text x y plus 30 to and name okay now got your controller with the create event oh by the way make sure that your control is persistent that's very important okay so let's start coding so if global oh what i'm doing if room equals selection what did i name it character select character select then more um so i have four players okay for naruto and uh, so can't change the name it depends on your player i don't know ag and kakashi okay so naruto equal instance create okay let's see 100 by 100 um obj selection box okay so naruto dot spr equals spr naruto stance and obj equals obj naruto so we will make this object later don't worry and name alright okay so let's see how it will look how it will look whoa oh yeah I know so let's create group here um Um, stands with the stand sprite, okay. Yep, so as you can see, this is what we got, and let's make some more uh, selection box for other characters, okay. But since my sprites are not centered, actually, you can see that they are not centered, origin point is down here at the bottom. So I will change this to, to 90, okay, and for the text position, let's go for 64 or 48 maybe, yeah, okay, so also add the mouse left press the event, and global dot player equals, um, no, wait, wait a little. Uh, so go back to your controller and add some new variables here. So selection state equals player. Okay. That means uh, it detect uh, if we are selecting the player or the enemy. Okay, so go back to your uh, selection box and if um, obg controller dot selection state is equals player then global dot player equals obj else global dot um, enemy equals obj2 okay so this is new variable here um, obj2 and yeah so obj2 means the enemy 
So for each character we're going to um, create, duplicate it and add E here for enemy. Okay, go back to your controller and add it here. So back to E OBJ two. Okay, so we'll actually um yeah. So let's see how it looks now. Yeah, that's good. But I think that's too. Mm, let's go for sixty. Okay, that's good. Okay, so uh, one. Okay, so once you're done with your first character, go and make that for the other ones. So I have four characters. You're going to do something like uh, instance create. Um, so this time let's go for 300 and obj selection box selection box. Okay, and. Just do the same thing for this character right here. So Jitachi and well J2 E what okay sprite She scans. Okay. So once again, go to make your object. So obj touch here. Duplicate it. Enemy. Okay. Where is the stand sprite? Oh, where is it? Okay. So let's see right now. Yeah. Okay, so now go to your selection box and add the simple code. If Um, yeah. So if OBG controller uh, selection state is equal to player, then we are going to um, select the enemy. Okay. So for a quick test, let's go for um, uh, in the step event for the OBG controller, if room equals selection state of character select then okay so if key press um I mean keyboard check pressed um VK backspace and if we press return I mean enter. Whoa. Now we're going to check if uh, global dot player is not equals none and global dot enemy is not equals none too. Then we can go to the next room. So room go to air um, battle. Okay. Now. So we can press backspace to reselect uh, our player. So we can go for if um, um, selection state, I guess, is equals enemy. Then we can go back to select the player. 
And just for some instruction, let's um, add the draw event and draw some text here. Draw text, um, room width divided by 2, and 0. Okay, so tell the player that he's, uh, you're selecting plus selection state. So this will tell the player which player he's selected. Okay, so let's test it now. Okay, as you can see, we are selecting here uh, right now the player. So from Naruto, okay, and now we're selecting the enemy. We can press backspace to go to reselect our player. Let's make it on um, low. Hmm. Wait a little. So why? Oh, player. Um, with capital P. And yeah. So make sure that you're not misspelling it. Okay. So let's test it again. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, I forgot to change it here too, so sorry for that guys. Okay, so now we can select our player and we if we press the uh, backspace we can reselect it. Okay, so I've selected both of the player and the enemy. Let's press start, uh, I mean enter, and yeah, as you can see we have our um, player and enemy and for some uh, let's go for the enemy and uh, image x scale well equals negative absolute value of image x scale so this will make the player uh, I mean the enemy always facing um, the player I mean looking at the player okay Enter. Whoa, that didn't work. Why? Hmm. Interesting. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, so this is the enemy. It's the player. I don't know, it should work. Okay. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, since the... The, since the enemy have no sprite, so you need to do that in the um, um, you know what? Yeah, yeah, let's do it here. Okay, so that should work. Okay, so yep, so that was all for today guys, I wish you enjoyed the video and forget, don't forget to check the next uh, part for um, player movement and some stuff like that. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe, like the video maybe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial, bye bye.